you notice that you don't have any serious damaging lens flare, even though you're shooting that right, look at that, right into the lens, and there's nothing that is obscuring the frame. Color temperature in action. Nice solid black, and then we have our light queue up. Slight anticipation on the on the uh, focus there. Good slates. Lights up. I'm slightly different on that, but fine. And maybe just a tick early on that. The lack of flares, amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm wanting it's to point amazing. it out to you. It's it's truly remarkable. That that's when you're dealing with glass. That is good, good glass. Probably the biggest challenge in this setup is just what he's going towards. So not having a true sense of the door. And then the love scene ensues. <laughs> but nice definition here in terms of separation. We just have a little bit on the back wall so it's not a black void, which I appreciate in the space. This is the chair that goes flying. That's the one that nearly killed me. <laughs> Very nice pacing on the dolly, though, and the camera operator. Again, we drifted just a tick back here. Very nice on, on the edging there. That's excellent. Very pleased with that. Just a bit of a wrestling match in there for, for that black boy. So I like, the, I like our, our nice subtle shaft. We do note that it really depends on your orientation to that shaft of light as to whether you see it or not. Yeah, that's the 32 right there. Nice, nice frame, nice light cues on that. I didn't really notice the lighting cue changes in one. I noticed some more in take three, I think. Here we lost a little bit of our, didn't quite smoke it up as, as much. But again, you can make it work because we see the effect of the light. This one's a little bouncy. I think we saw the back of the stage wall a bit more on that one. Very nice eye light in there. That's excellent. Without that eye light, we got trouble. So that's very good. So it's really two. Two I somewhat take out. <coughs> One's still my favorite. Let me see what I think about three. Three, I think I notice a light cue here. Bill, does it look like 30 frames per second? Because um, I think it was, right? Or it was. Yeah, we changed one in there. It, it's. I'm not making. I'm not noticing any. Yeah. The second take was it third? Yeah, I'd probably go. With, I'd probably go with take one. That's a very nice division. Yeah, not quite enough smoke to blow out these pieces. So we do have a, a bit of a sense of a surface down there. Look at the skin tones in terms of what's what's hitting Raglan. Nice frame that down in the corner. Very nice. So this is on our rollout. If he had opened the door and then cut to white, then you might have had a natural <laughs> natural moment. Okay. So now very heavy into this area. So we see no in fact just for this viewing. Look at this area, and you, you have no sense of surface at the moment, right? No surface, no surface, it's just a void. Still no surface now. Now you're starting to see some ripples in the surface, right? Just as it's starting to dissipate a bit. See all those? But that's just because it was dissipating. We'd have to keep a volume of smoke going. I love these black. Look how solid that is. There's no, there's no texture in there. That's a solid black. That's remarkable. And focus is good here. Focusing with just red light can be very tricky. It shifts it over a little closer to almost an infrared in terms of its focusing, the way it's going through the emulsion. But uh, it does not appear soft, which is good. I love that. I love that face. 
fade back into the, the shadows there, don't you? It's very nice. <laughs> Round of applause.